Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I want to do a power switch mod. I'm gonna do it twice because uh, I have to and it's going to be in my uh, uh, WBSG1 and in the FA2 uh, frequency counter um, because the power switch is in the back and you have maybe seen my other modification. I just don't like that. I like switches to be in the front because you need to be able to switch it on and off in the front no? because because now if I want to switch it on I need to take my stuff off and then in the back there is a switch and then I can switch it on but I prefer to have it in the front so I'm going to see and uh, maybe you saw in my uh, Q&A from last week already the inside of the of the devices or in my uh, reviews and tear down um, there is very very little space but I already saw with a tiny tiny switch it is possible and uh, I will take you to the process uh, first we open and then uh, we have a look where there is space uh, to put the switch because this is quite full that's why I start with this one because here is a row button less and then it's easy to say, oh yeah, we just put it here if there is no board on the outside. But then it will look very weird with this one, because I wanted to have the same. So, now we need to look a little bit better where to put it. And uh, to see if here is space or here is space, or around here, maybe in between. But in between would be very annoying if you put the plugs. And also if there is space here on the top, um, you are not using it like this, at least I am not, because it's on the top here, so I'm using it like this. And that means if there is a switch here on the top, that is also not good. So probably the best space would be yeah, in the bottom somewhere here. Well, if we have a look then we can find here a space, here a space, here, here so we need to see how it looks from the other side and then it turns out that here is actually no space because here is the casing then we have a look here here on the top there is actually a good space here it's reflecting a lot but here, here is space but as I mentioned before if we put the switch here on top and I'm controlling it like this, then the switch is in, its in my way, and that is also not good. And then maybe there is a space here, but I don't like it in between. And also, if you put it here, you are here in the RF section, and then the power cable just goes here, and then here. I don't like it, doesn't feel good. So then there is only one place left and that would be here in the bottom and the space is really small let me get if we can I, I take out the front moment okay now we have a better look and if you see just underneath the row of buttons the second row here there is a space just between the two boards and what I want here, yeah, now you see better here and I want to put the switch exactly underneath and then it also lines nicely out with this button here and if we make sure, if we switch it on the, the pin is to that side then there is also no problem if you put the connector there or not so I just need to find a very, very tiny switch. So if I look in my collection, I have a lot of these flip switches. And uh, this is the smallest. And uh, I think that would be perfect. So if we just uh, look, if it goes underneath. Maybe if we, yes, that will fit, and, but then we need to be very precise 
and do the holes still yeah the holes are still there so this is possible this is possible so that is what I'm going to do and then of course the switch goes to the front but then it's easy to just read route the power here to this to put it just in between so here it is and here is the, the, the space that we have and yeah it is actually aligning it is not that complicated because it was exactly stuck between the boards so that means if I just have it exactly like this as close to the display PCB if, as I can and then if I align it with the center of these switches then we should be fine so it is just a matter of measuring correctly where to put the hole and that's about it so what I will do I will just scratch it because the pin on the back you can and uh, now I can see the center I just make a, a little scratch yes I can see that and now I hopefully I can also make scratches like this <laughs> yes and am I scratching in the center yes I think I am Yes. Okay, let's see. okay this is it again it's not my best uh, but it's also not designed to, to have a switch in the front but it does fit in the buttons it's nicely centered it is away from all the RF stuff and like this it is switched off like this switched on and you can just still easily get to all the buttons and now we need to see if it still fits because otherwise it needs to go back but if you see on the back it is a very very close fit but uh, if you do this it just fits exactly in between the screws perfectly line out still no problem there and uh, as you can see no problem with that with hitting the BNC it's far enough away and when it's switched off then it's closer but then you don't need it so no problems there Okay, that is done. It's all there. Easy to control still. And internally it also doesn't look that bad. So, that was quick. Well, I rerouted a little bit the power cable so it is not that close to the oscillator. Just to be sure. And uh, yeah, I think that is... Uh, it's good, let's close it up.
well same story here um, there is only one row of switches but in the back of course it's exactly the same board so we have exactly the same space here so I'm just gonna line it out exactly the same and uh, then the, yeah then that looks better So that's also done, little switch in the front, here it looks a little bit better because it's missing that one row of uh, buttons, but uh, it's exactly in the same position as the other, so second time is a lot faster, it's already in. So that's it, a uh, very easy modification, also the switch just like in the other, and uh, yeah that's just it, it's not that uh, complicated, uh, put the power, put my reference, I also put some foam in the back so it doesn't slide, so it is a good fit put external reference put power and to the back here it is look at that here is the result and uh, switch it on switch it on nice in the front you can easily still control all the buttons without any problem and I can leave my stuff on top and this is what I wanted and uh, yeah there's no problem if you want to put when it's switched on it's far away and I really don't need to be careful I'm not touching the switch at all so uh, that works off off so that's it, it uh, was a very easy modification, I think it took less uh, less than half an hour uh, for uh, each of them, so less than an hour I have both done, and uh, yeah this really uh, is a lot more convenient, so uh, if you're not scared to drill some holes in it, <laughs> then uh, this may be something for you. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.